Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create custom color swatches from a photograph. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. First we will need to import our photograph. Just grab it and place it in the center. Now go to the Layers panel and lock Layer 1. Next, select the Create New Layer icon from the bottom and let's change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Light Blue. Now select the Rectangle tool and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, draw a small square. Press V for the selection tool and click on the square. Now press the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard to copy it. And press Ctrl D four times to make more copies. Now we are going to get some samples from the photograph and create custom swatches. Click on the top square to select it, then press the I button for the eyedropper tool and click on the dark red color to get the first sample. Press V for the selection tool again and select the second square. Now press the letter I again to switch to the eyedropper tool and let's get another sample. This time click on the medium red color. And again, press V to select the next square and I to get a sample. And again, select the next square and let's get some green samples from the stem. Dark green medium green and light green. Now we will create a new color group. Press V on your keyboard for the selection tool and drag a box to select all the swatches. Go to the swatches panel and select the new color group icon. Click on it and name it whatever you want. Click OK. Now you can see the new color group in the swatches panel. This new color group is going to work only with this open document. If you close Illustrator and reopen it again, or if you make a new document, the new color group that you've created won't be there. Illustrator doesn't save it, however there is a way to save it for future use. Let's go back to our first document. Click on the Swatch Libraries menu icon and select Save Swatches. A new window will open. This is the folder where your new swatches will be stored. Let's change the file name and click Save. Now let's go back to the second document. To bring up our new color group, Click on the Swatch Libraries menu icon. Hover your mouse over the User Defined and you should see your swatches. Click on them. Expand the window and your new swatches should be at the bottom. Click on the little grey folder next to them, hold and move it to the Swatches panel. Now your swatches are ready to use. Thanks for watching, bye bye.